Dividing fraction situations. I want you to read this problem, I want you to write it down, and I want you to draw a picture to see if you can solve it. I just want to point out that this uh, right here is 3 and 1 half. I can't do fractions in this program. And then this is 2 thirds. So write this down, draw a picture to see if you can solve it. All right. So in this situation, Chris has a board that's three and a half feet long. So I'm going to take a big long board and I'm going to cut it into um, actually four pieces. So this is one foot, this is another foot, so that's two feet. Here's another foot, so that's three feet. And he doesn't have this whole foot right here. He only has half of the foot. Now what does he want to do? He wants to cut it into pieces that are two-thirds of a foot. So I'm going to take each foot and I'm going to split it into thirds. Now on this one, I can't split, um, I'm going to actually show how you split the whole board into thirds. So now he wants to, he wants each piece to be two-thirds of a foot. So one piece is going to be these two-thirds. So that's um, one piece. Now the next piece will be these two-thirds. So that's two pieces. And then the next will be three pieces. See what I'm doing? And then we've got four pieces. Each piece is two-thirds. Um, and then we have five pieces. Now, right here, we don't have another two-thirds. We only have a little bit. So what I want to point out is that our original board, whole entire one-foot board, was right here. Um, and so what, what we've done is we've actually split that board into one, two, three, four pieces. So if we're just looking at this piece right here, that's a fourth. So he can make five complete pieces that are this long and a fourth of another piece. So let's think about what it is that we did. We started with three and a half feet of board and we split it into equal size pieces. When you are splitting into equal size pieces, you are dividing. So we divided it by two thirds. Okay, now remember, when you divide fractions, you have to have fraction by fraction. So let's go ahead and say two times three is six plus one is seven halves divided by two thirds. So we have fraction divided by fraction. Now when you're dividing, you are going to multiply by the reciprocal. So seven halves remains the same. We change divide to multiply and the reciprocal of two thirds is three halves. We multiply straight across and we get 21 halves. Oh, not 21 halves, 21 fourths. So now we take 21, we divide it by four, and we see that we get five, this is our whole number five, and one out of four remaining. So five whole pieces and a fourth of a board. Five whole pieces and a fourth of a board. Make sure you pause and rewind as needed. All right, now I want you to write down this problem and I want you to solve it with a picture. This is four fifths and this is two fifths. So go ahead and pause, write this problem down, draw a picture to solve. Okay, in this situation, Rachel made some hot chocolate and let's say this is one entire quart right here that I just drew. She only filled it um, four fifths of the way. So I'm gonna split my pieces, my whole quart into four, uh, five pieces. So she filled four 
fifths of the quart. Each mug holds two fifths. So it's already split for us into fifths. So each mug is going to hold one fifth, two fifths. That's one mug. The next mug will hold one fifth, two fifths. So that's two mugs. And this part, remember, does not exist because she only filled it four fifths of the way. So how many mugs can she fill? One, two mugs. So let's think about what we did. Oops. We took um, four fifths, that's what we started with, and we split it into equal size pieces, uh, and the pieces are two fifths of a quart. So we already have fraction divided by fraction. So what do we do when we divide fractions? We keep the first number, we change divide to multiply, the reciprocal of the second fraction, five halves. Multiply straight across, and you get 20 tenths, and 20 divided by 10 is two. So how many mugs? Two mugs, and that matches two mugs. All right, now this situation. Layla is making bracelets for her friends, and her design requires a sixth of a yard, and she has of, um, I should say, of ribbon. So she has five and a half yards of ribbon. So what I want you to do is write this down. I want you to draw a picture and solve it. And when you come into class, if I, I'm going to look at your picture, and I'm going to see if you solved it correctly, and those of you who solve it correctly get a point for um, our class dojo. So pause and rewind through this video as needed. Write down this problem, solve it, and bring it to class tomorrow.